Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to a new momentum update by RRG Research for Monday the 25th of July and I'm recording it on Friday the 22nd before the opening of the markets. My name is Julius de Campenaar and I'm presenting to you from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Let's start with a look at the RRG for international stock market indexes against 0% return. As you know, that will show us the price direction of those markets in general. And this image gives us a clear view of the general direction of stocks over the last week, two weeks. And what you can see here is that they've been moving into the leading quadrant, which means that stocks are in a short-term uptrend price-wise. And that's good news after long, long, long declines that we've had. The question is, how sustainable are these rallies? And we'll try to have a look at that in a minute. The only market that is going against the tide is the Hang Seng, that's Hong Kong, which you see here in the lagging quadrant. That is in a short-term downtrend. Pretty much all the others are on the rise, at least in the near term. If we bring this to a relative image, and we compare all these stock markets to the MSCI world, then we get a different image, then we get a different picture. You see the rotations of the various indexes relative to the MSCI world. And the ones that are standing out are, I think, the uh, pretty much the European markets with the DAX, the Stocks 50 and the French CAC, which are all traveling at a nice positive RRG heading. And they're either inside the leading quadrant or traveling towards it. And on the opposite side, you find that a number of the US indexes, the S&P, the Dow Jones Industrials, the NASDAQ, are they have turned around and they are now moving at a negative heading, either in, inside weakening or towards it, the NASDAQ here. The Russell 2000 is still doing pretty good. <clears throat> These... Opposite directions, these opposite moves usually give us good trading opportunities. It's very well possible to put uh, together uh, price agnostic, directional agnostic trades by buying one leg and selling the other. And the RRG will help you to pick potential candidates for that. The ones that I, the, the one that stands out for me, the, the, the disconnect between Europe and the US is the thing that I'm watching at the moment. And if we look at the stocks, that's the Europeans, the Eurostoxx 50 index. And I want to put that against the S&P 500 because that's obviously the biggest US widely traded, widely traded US index. But you could take the, uh, the Dow Jones Industrials or the Nasdaq if you're very aggressive because that still has a way to go. And I want to look at the individual charts for those indexes. And if we start with the, SMP, the um, Eurostoxx 50 index, then you see that it has bottomed around 3,400, where we had that spike dip in March. And we've been trying, well, we've been hovering above that 3,400 area since the middle of June. And it looks as if we're now getting out of it. What, what, we, what would need to happen, preferably next week, is breaking above let's say 3,600, that will free up more upside potential and give the Eurostoxx 50 index a little bit more room to the upside. What you see here are the RRG lines, they're continuing to move higher. That's what you see on that RRG. That's why the um, Eurostoxx 50 index is in that improving quadrant, moving towards leaning. That's <clears throat> because these lines are pointing higher. And you'll see the difference when we move to the S&P chart. If we look at the S&P 500 chart, you see a kind of similar image for price, although uh, the S&P dipped a little bit lower. You, 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 we found, also found a low in June, but it was lower than what we had for the Eurostoxx 50 index at an earlier date. It's coming out of that bottom formation as well. So, so from a price perspective, both the S&P and the Eurostoxx 50 index are they're not looking fantastic, but they're, they're, they have some upside potential. But the big difference is when you look at relative strength, when you look at these RRG lines, you can see that the RS, the RS momentum line, that's the stippled green line, has already crossed below 100, which means that it is now losing relative momentum. And that is starting to drag that RS ratio line lower. 
giving it a weaker outlook from a relative perspective. So from a relative point of view, I think we are now in a move that favors Europe over the US. And that brings me to the next subject that I want to quickly talk to you about for this week's update. And that's if you look at the US sectors over the last few days, then you can see that the biggest US sectors, information technology and consumer discretionary, are now strongly moving into the, into the leading quadrant. That is the, these two together are almost 50% of the US market. So that is dragging the stock market up. If you look at more defensive stuff, healthcare, staples, utilities, to a, lesser to a lesser degree, real estate and telecom services, they are moving in opposite directions. So we're in a, in a move that favors growth. Inf information technology, consumer discretionary are clearly growth stocks and they are in favor right now. However, the question is, how sustainable is this move? How does that fit in the bigger picture? And one of the relationships that I'm keeping a close eye on is the relationship between growth and value stocks. And you can put that on an RRG and it looks like this. This is the Dow Jones US Growth Index versus the Dow Jones US Value Index. And the center, the benchmark of the chart is the Dow Jones US Index. So this is a, a closed universe. This is everything there is in this universe. And you can see the improvements for growth and the weakened, weakening for value. However, if you just look at the RS ratio, then value is in a relative uptrend. It's losing momentum, but it's still in a relative uptrend. And growth is in a relative downtrend. It's picking up momentum, but it's still in a relative downtrend. And that, you've got to keep that in the back of your mind. This is a little bit longer term picture than the other RRGs that we've been looking at. This is a weekly RRG. And if we bring that into one chart, if we look at that one-on-one -on -one growth value relationship, then I think that's painting as a very interesting and, and maybe sobering picture if you want. This is a real long-term chart of growth versus value. You can see that it peaked in 2000, obviously, oh, that's the dot-com bubble, and you saw that massive decline and stabilization, and then it started to pick up again 2007, 2008, but it really started to take off 2014, and then really here in 2018 and after that. For the first time since, let's say 2006, I think there's now a massive top formation in place for growth versus value. This relationship, this ratio has put in, in place a massive double top. This is something that you cannot negate. You can't pretend as if it's not there. We had the initial decline and we're now rallying back towards the breakout level. That is what you see in that RRG where you see growth picking up and where you see short-term growth sectors and growth stocks picking up. But the longer-term picture, the longer-term relationship between growth and value is dangerous. I mean, we, 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 we've been used to growth beating value all the time. And I think that from a longer-term perspective, that relationship is now under pressure. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens once this ratio goes back to 138, maybe 140 in that ratio number and how the growth sectors are then holding up. I think we have a long-term turnaround in place. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but please remember that the from this point of view, if you take this into account and if you see what I see and see that this is a big reversal pattern in place, then the current rally for growth sectors and growth stocks is only temporary in nature and it will reverse once this growth value uh, relationship hits its breakout level and uh, will meet resistance and potentially start turning around again. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show and I'm looking forward to see you again next week, same time, same place.